some induction program which will last for something like two to three months as according to what the clerk said yesterday and today is the first day we are here to actually sound reviews of people some of the MPs probably talk to them how they feel and their plans but however we are here you know the All People's Congress party which, uh, which is the main opposition said they will not be taking part in this parliament so we came first um, to the northwestern region and the, w the northern region to find out if actually they are here. Um, family from members say they're watching um, live channel 33 and we also they watching on Facebook. We they are they witness the induction ceremony of members of parliament. Um, members say PCB say they need to partic participate for this parliament. So it comes to the end of the day. Um, this induction ceremony then shape all the members of parliament them from the different districts and from the different region them. So we come first and not West region and the northern region for find out if APC MPs and really they as you see the sign that you see the placard uh, the northern region and the northwest region and we they can get go inside for find out if really they are inside here or not but you're watching AYV television and we are live now this is the state hall of parliament and this is where this is the setup where several MPs will be probably signing they will taking their details bank details a pcmp there um, giving his detail this is the setup so far for the first day of the induction ceremony um for the sixth parliament the induction ceremony is like some sort of a session that will help members of parliament it will enable them to understand the ways of parliament how parliament operates the different standing orders the procedures of parliament will be taught here in this particular place we have the different setup and we have the northwestern region you can see an slpp mp from the northwestern region specifically We also have a PCMP from the Northwest region. We have an SLPP MP. They are all filling forms for their nurse seats and different things. And you have other sets of people also there. This all surrounds employment and all other activities um, that will qualify them. So these are the paperwork they are doing. This forms part of the first day of the induction ceremony. Um, but along the line, we'll be talking to some of them. Along the way, we'll be talking to some of them. But I can tell you, I can confirm that no member of parliament from the All People's Congress Party um, from the Northwest or the northern region are actually present here none of them are here we are only seeing mps um, from the northwestern region who are from the all uh, the sierra Leone people's party that is the ruling party these are the only sets of mps and the paramount chief members of parliament that you're seeing around from the north and the northwestern region i can confirm to you that only SLPP MPs and PCMPs from the Northwestern region and the Northern region are here. And like we said earlier, most of them are there doing their registration, doing their different uh, paperwork, which marks the beginning, um, some sort of st a start of the induction. We'll be talking to one female member of parliament from Puruloko district. Uh, uh, we have a female member of parliament from Puruloko district. Please tell us your name and who are you? My name is Rachel Mariatu Sisepesima, and I'm a member of Parliament of Port Local District. Under SLPP. Under SLPP, yes. Now, tell us, first of all, because we, the, the name is not actually strange to AYP, we've been seeing some of your programs. Tell us, what does this mean to you, winning, coming from a stronghold, a place that is used to be known as a stronghold for the opposition? Um, this means a lot to me because, um, as you all know, um, Potloko district is um, the stronghold for um, the opposition party, which is the APC. Um, so for us, 
to be um, to, to be able to triumph to have four seats in Potloko it means a lot to us and you know it, we really really um, appreciate the work that we put in because the way that we campaign in Potloko districts never in the issue of Potloko for people to campaign for a political party to campaign like the way we did and we really thank God that we are able to um, change the narrative um, because um, there is a saying in Potloko um, that the APC always says Sabano, which means um, this this place is our own, and they kind of like you know personalize it like Potloko, like no party will be able to have not even a single seat in Potloko. So for us to be able to have four seats. Um, in parliaments, in Potloko districts, it means a lot to us, which means the people are really getting the message. It means the people uh, um, know and appreciate the president, the work that the presidents have done in Potloko. And he has done so many, many things. And I know um, the second term of the presidency, it will continue the good work that he, he, is, that he has started in Potloko districts. Maria Tugetel Pesima bring that is new as a form of contribution to the district of Potloko? Um, well, um, the things that I'll bring to Potloko district, I'll make Potloko um, well recognized. Um, also, I will also make sure Potloko is lively because in Potloko we have so many people that have money, that are educated, you know, that, but I think there is more to do in Potloko, which I want to bring in. I have so many ideas that I, you know, I want it to be a surprise. I don't want to say it now, because if I if I say it now and everybody will be looking up, you know, to see what I'm going to do. But I know I have a lot to do. I am really pregnant with uh, um, ideas, with um, programs, projects that I want to bring into Potloko. So when I bring them out, I want them to, you know, for people to be dumbfounded. I don't want to say them now. I'm going to hold that for later. What are your expectations of the sixth parliament in, in terms of debate, in terms of, you know, there is this perception that women are not given the chance, women are not given the opportunity to participate in terms of debates, in terms of... So what, what are your expectations of this sixth parliament? Well, this sixth parliament, I'm pretty sure the women, especially with the SLPP women, the SLPP not only bring in women, they bring in quality to the parliament. The, the percentage that the president has given us has superseded. The president has superseded that, that percentage. And we, the SLPP um, female uh, um, parliamentarian, we're going to make sure we bring quality and we're going to bring, we're going to make a lot of changes. We're going to show that women, we are smarter, we are stronger, and we are powerful. And we're going to make sure we represent our party really well. Thank you so much. Um, that we, we've just spoken to Maria to Richard Persima from um, Port Local District, uh, one of the members of parliament for, for the ruling um, SLPP, who is actually here to um, be part of the induction ceremony. Uh, she's one of the elected MPs from Port Local District, the northwestern region. Uh, like I said earlier, people should understand that no APC MP is here for the induction. This is the first day of the induction and we've not seen the presence of any APCMP. We've not seen any of them at all. Uh, well, yesterday the clerk was optimistic, was expressing optimism that the APCMPs are going to come on Thursday, which is tomorrow for the 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 oath taking. Uh, mark you tomorrow will be uh, 10 p.m. Parliament will be open and we will see oath taking for, of members of parliament and they will do the election of the speaker of the house of parliament for the sixth parliament. We've, we don't know some of the candidates but some of the candidates that are up for this we've seen we've had the name of the honorable Sidi Mohammed Tunis who is the speaker of the Equus parliament. We've had the 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 speaker uh, the Deputy Speaker, Honorable Senge Paul Solomon Thomas, is also another candidate that we are hearing. We've also seen um, uh, Honorable Hindu Legevao also showing interest to be the Deputy Speaker. Well, there are more, but tomorrow we'll find out after the voting and the uh, uh, the taking. But for now, we have another MP from the Northwestern region, uh, from Cambia specifically. Uh, please tell us your name. Uh, my name is uh, Honorable Mohamed Fofana from Cambia. All right. So tell us first of all, uh, how you, f 
how do you feel winning in a stronghold of the opposition? Um, yeah, I want to say it, uh, it's very tedious, but um, it was expected because His Excellency, the President, Gitarev Regilosmada Bio, you know, made um, so much um, development in Cambia and we made, um, we made so much inroads. So we're expecting the victory, you know, that, that we got from Cambia and um, it, is, it didn't come by surprise. It was difficult, but we knew that we were going to, you know, win in Cambia because, you know, His Excellency diverted so much development that, that, that never happened to, to the people of Cambia, you know, so in appreciation, you know, the people of Cambia voted overwhelmingly for His Excellency and the Member of Parliament. What is your perception of our Parliament? So what are you expecting from the Sixth Parliament? parliament? Um, well, it's, um, it's a, a honor to be here. It's, um, I have always looked forward to being here because um, I want to serve my people. And um, being part of the, the Sixth Parliament, I know is quite challenging, but um, I'm open to it. And um, I want to make the mark because we want to continue to consolidate the gains that His Excellency the President has already made. And that is, that is why we are here to help him you know, continue with the development for the people of Sierra Leone. And also, I'm here you know, for adequate and proper representation of my people of Cambia. So much for talking with us, Honorable Fofana. And uh, we've just spoken to Honorable Fofana and SLPP MP from Cambia District, also from the northwestern region. Uh, we are specifically here at the State Hall of Parliament where they've these specific uh, uh, sections, uh, we have the northern region, the northwestern region that are separate. We have other regions in the building of parliament in different rooms. Um, we will know where other districts are or the regions are. But, Mark, you are watching AYB television. We are live from the House of Parliament. We, we are live in the House of Parliament, um, where the <coughs> induction ceremony for elected MPs for the Sixth Parliament is on the way. Um, just know this ceremony is some sort of orientation for the new MPs that have been elected. That have been elected. These new MPs will be thoughts on the proceedings, different things. Upon Parliament, and we are we are now here at the Western region. The Western region entails the Western rural and Western urban. And this is where the Western region MPs are, and also I can tell you there are no APC MPs here. Matthew, uh, APC had five seats in the Western area of um, rural. SPB had five seats. Also in the western area, uh, well, SRPB had seven seats, APC had nine seats, but we've not seen any of them at all in this particular hall. And this is the members' lounge that has that, that has been turned for the induction ceremony where MPs from the western region will be doing their paperwork and doing every other thing. We have the northern, we have them here, the western region MPs are seated there. Um, you can see Henry with Ibrahim Tawa Conte um, seated there, Henry with Mario Conte. We'll speak to, to some of them. These are the MPs from the from the western region. Um, Honorable Bucharif, Man Koka is there. They are all doing their paperwork. Um, we'll speak with them and disturb some of them. Uh, we have Honorable Abu Mari Conte here, um, who, who was number seven on the list of SLPP for Western Area Rural. Um, uh, Oban, Honorable, tell us first of all how you feel about coming back. Well, um, I feel very, very good about it because it has been a very tough fight. Um, well, at the end of the day, um, succeeded in coming back, so I think um, I'm I'm happy about it. What are you expecting for this uh, um, for the sixth parliament? Well, I think the fifth parliament set um, a very high bar to some point, so I think we just need to um, emulate the very good examples of the fifth parliament and try to make sure that we do more. Thank you so much. Yeah. 
Um, that, that is Honorable Abdul Suleiman Mari Konza from Western Area Urban um, there, um, expressing his expectations and stating that the fifth parliament had set the bar high. We'll, we'll be going to other regions, uh, but so far this is the Western region. So we are done with the Western region. This is the Western region. The Western region, um, it entails the Western area, urban, Western area, rural. Uh, these are where all the MPs from the Western area, urban, Western area, rural are. We will go, we'll be going down now to the Eastern region, entailing Como and Kenema districts. But for the information, my junior council. <laughs> you are watching AYB television live from the precincts of parliament. Uh, you were witnessing the induction ceremony, first day of the induction ceremony for elected members of parliament for the sixth parliament. Um Iwachi, you watch AYB television, uh, we don't can on uh, the south side the eastern region day. The eastern region gets uh, uh, Kono and Kenema districts, uh, and also Kailan districts. Kono, Kailan, and Kenema district. Uh, the Eastern region, we find out say, they see the different the setup, the same setup we see up here now. We are in MPs and they do the paperwork. Um, we are in some sort of paperwork for the employment. You see the all they do the different paperwork. And within uh, we will talk to one or two. Um, as you know, like how we do now the other places then back. But remember say you the watch YB television live and you the witness the first day of the induction um, program for new MP then where they don't elect for the sixth parliament. Remember say by tomorrow, um ten o'clock, um the House of Parliament is officially open and we will see MPs and we can take oath officially and then we'll also um, elect a speaker and swear all MPs them in as members of parliament. We will mark the official beginning of the sixth parliament. Uh, members say we also there the bring you live coverage uh, from the house of parliament. We get Honorable Emilia Lolutungi, we now be former independent MP under the fifth parliament, but now it come. In, uh, inside parliament as an L SLPP MP with a different hat and he come himself get a seat in the uh, uh, sixth parliament this time but not as independent again but he come as SLPP MP. Honorable Emilia Lutungi, tell me how you feel about this first. How you feel about it? How you but I mean, at least you know the answer. I'm so happy, you know. And I've been I've been on the strain all these years, these five years, because I was a, a SLPP and because really means I make uh, came here as independent. But now I'm here as the you know under the, the umbrella way I've been on the always the yarn for. So I'm extremely very happy. What's that your expectation for this sixth parliament? You say you don't be staying. You do expect say you not get for strain again? No, I don't think say I get for strain anymore. I don't get for be hesitant anymore. Because I was trying to, I mean they try for play, you know, balance rule. One for please the other way around and actually say things and call things by their names. Now I know Usa Ade and I feel say I are in a very comfortable place. Then I will speak my mind and, and believe me I will do a better job this time around. All right, plenty thank you for talking to me. That now, Honorable Emilia Lolotungi from Kailan District. Um, I'm Matthew Ibidina, constituency 001. And in Nabi Independent Member of Parliament, and now it come as an SLPP MP. We go continue for talk to more people. We will go to another uh, place where Nabi South. One of the southern region, um, but we don't talk to most of the MP there. Most of we don't tour most of the region there, and probably you see a pool of journalists there all sit down. They wait, waiting at the 
expectation. But we can't talk to Melvin Tijama. Uh, we're not going to have a talk to her. We're not going to have a talk to her. So, Melvin, uh, we don't see the opening ceremony for the induction program. Tell me, first of all, uh, you, is it what you would expect from the look of things? Uh, so, to some extent, yes, but no also. Yes, for the fact that we, we expect members of parliament and for they are, and they indeed don't come. Um, no, for the fact that we expect some coherence, some kind of program. Although it's too early to say, and for what we get out from the clerk, it's going to be a two, two months long e exercise. But today, basically, for what we see, it's not an in in induction or orientation, but basically, it's just a registration and, and basic clerical work so far. Absolutely, the absence of the main opposition also can mean something of great importance, but we'll wait for see. But the absence today already not send the right message for themselves and for the parliament. For themselves, because it don't keep them, their preparedness don't be in that. So assuming even if the APC comes tomorrow, they're not, they're not going to come prepare, as prepared as people will expect them. Because mind you, tomorrow, just after they subscribe the votes, they're going to forget the election of the speaker. Yes, they don't have the numbers, but we are in there organized well. Perhaps we can see some kind of surprise, but that is not the case. So for me, that is a downside. But generally, we see the Paramount Chiefs the whole day, members from the SLPP then day. And I think say, the big takeaway, just looking at the ordinary composition, it seems as if we get many young people, we can be an advantage based on the competence and then performance so i think that, that that is positive of course women we have 42 incredible unlike any other time in the history we hope these women they, they said will get them activity and a work plan in championing the issues around women of course we see from the administrative standpoint the directorates they've all been there so and we see there is a slight change in which now we see protocol and they really assist mps so i think yes it shows that the administration prepared but political ambience cannot be cannot be appreciable well, I, I go on for agree with the clerk. Say the, the, the parliament might be tougher. It might be tougher if we allow democratic pluralism. In the case we are in, mind you, the parliament is still gridlock without having a two-thirds majority. So that need for four or five of APC MPs go make them th tougher or, or interesting. But outside of that, they don't have the numbers. They're going to be more of political stunts on their side. Um, of course, when it comes to, to, to it's not good for the democracy if they're absent, but definitely that's again not going to stop the business of the house, not for go on, in as much as it might affect the credibility and the clout, the democratic progression we would make. So, generally, I think the APC, they need to get a rethink on that issue, but also the SAP people open their hands for dialogue. It's still not too late. I think so. We'll get to 12 o'clock or say tomorrow morning for let them decide and come because if they're not come, it's not in their own interest, but also it's not in the in, in the interest of democracy. I mean, when you talk about two third, a very important more educate family them out there about the two third. Yeah. Um, but yesterday the clerk they say now only people and we don't take oath mm -hmm. as an MP, mm -hmm. and then total number of MP then you know, they take away the majority, not necessarily one hundred and forty. The clerk is the custodian of the procedure and best practice of parliament and is a former parliamentarian. And I think say yes, Mr. Do some research about that. If you look at the provision stating that he say um, two thirds of he say members of parliament present. So that is to be interpreted as if you are not present or if you've not subscribed the oath, you, you you cannot be called as part of the number. So I think the clerk is right towards that end. And it makes her more disadvantageous for, for, for the All People's Congress because let's assume they don't subscribe the oath tomorrow. And looking at the provision in the new welfare bill which stipulates that you should have served uninterrupted five years in a, ten, in, in a tenure. So if you come tomorrow, you don't come tomorrow your five years has already been shot in so it only take political magnanimity on the side of the, the the president or the clerk or the administration for looks okay will overlook but if they want for go to censor by the law then it means say, some of them benefits might not be equal to the one that we come and we can subscribe to the oath tomorrow so it's carry on every side it's carry for the government bench because for example you're talking about the president he said they want for do constitutional amendments in that case Again, two thirds is arguable, Johnson, like you rightly say, because there is no clarity in the law is whether it's two thirds of MPs elect 
or MP subscribing to the oath. But that can be subject to the interpretation of the clerk who is the chief administrator of parliament. So I, I think it's quite... I mean, unsettling for, for some of we because if you're not the opposition, what are going to be the opposition? Do we expect the paramount chiefs to be? Uh, I mean, and it was scary for even with the press because the press cannot not be the opposition mouthpiece. If not, we will be we will, get, we will find a difficulty even for working at the sixth parliament because assuming nobody not to talk the other side, we will left for the do critical analysis on what we feel say nine for B, and that will be the duty of the opposition. So it's it not good for even the press. Let's talk about civil society. For the parliament chiefs, we already know they are rubber stamp. You cannot you cannot challenge that. Now waiting government say that they do. So it, it, it make the democracy go sick. All right, finally, before I left you, um, more talk about the altercation rate. You find out, say, the fifth parliament, the fourth parliament, and the fifth parliament will be see a major change. We see that much of a seismic shift. Whose political party you would feel, say, you will commend in terms of? I think we will commend SLPP. SLPP come with more of them former MPs, unlike the, the, the APC. I think the SLPP is, is returning a very good number, unlike the APC, where many of them not come. And if we talk about attrition, let's look at the impact of attrition force on the leadership. It's, it's, it's a big disadvantage for the APC because looking at the absence of Chelino Ramadan Majuba, looking at the absence of IB Kagbo, looking at the uh, Ajibola Manly Spain, that's going to be a big, that's a big effect of, of attrition. And who's going to be the leader? It's not only left now between um, the likes of Honorable SOS and that of um, Daniel Kuruma and Aaron Aruna Kuruma. So for me, attrition seriously affects APC's leadership. If you put that into juxtaposition with the SLPP, of course they are bringing in the likes of Honorable City Tunis, Machin Yuma, Senator Paul Solomon Thomas, bringing in fresh brains like the Honorable Tsawa and the Marie Conte and others. So, attrition no affect SLPP much as we will say for 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 the APC. But generally, the attrition level this time around, unlike the past, which was over 50 percent, it's not up to even 45 percent. So it's good for institutional memory. It shows they will get members of parliament and the way they come and get the experience of the institution, then they come with the capacity, which is good. But of course, attrition it gets economic impact because all the new MP they are able to train them and it gave involves money. So that's why political parties for always know and the Gideon symbol, and if for count the cost, I think it's my opinion that the APC them primaries, if they for look ahead of 2018, then for look at that process again. Because we are in you, they come with members of parliament, we are fairly new members of parliament compared to old heads. Imagine for the likes of Veronica Cadiz, is for the SVP, she's coming for the fourth time. City Tunis coming for the fourth, fourth or fifth time. So the experience there is going to be lacking on the side of the APC. But that is not to say they're not going to forget people like Abdul Kago, who is a very fast learner, people like the Honorable Alpha Amaduba, who has been there, the Abdul, Abdul Karim Kamara, he's been a good MP. So, I mean, it's not about the, the how long you don't take, but how fast you can learn. So, at Gishon, yes, it's minimized this time around, but I think it's affecting the APC more in terms of the kind of replacement them where they do. Where you put Chaikoko, nobody not for replace her, and I'll be big fooling politically in this parliament for them. Plenty, thank you for talking to me. Uh, Melvin, to Germans, I just don't talk to me. Don't explain about the, the altercation and I also talk about. Different different issues them. But members say we still live live um now committee room one where people they know. Um this now who are the the MPs then from the eastern region and they um members say the eastern region gets the corner, Kenema and Kailan. Um most of the independent MP them they are from Kailan specifically all come as um SFP MPs. Um, only able to look to you not be independent MP, come as a SLPP MP, when I be 001. We see also only able, um, and we see also even Napoje on one independent MP BDD, um, when I only able to share Kamusa Sama, instead of come as an SLPP MP. So, uh, these parliaments. No get no independent, no get any other political party except for the two major parties, we are the SLPP and the APC. And we still the tour the House of Parliament with the go down the southern region. I remember say APC MPs are not present at all for the first day of the induction ceremony. We then can do them paperwork and registration. And this year for last for two months, um, as far as in the clerk tell we, again, I say money again for day for two months. 
for orientate MPSM about the rule, the standing orders, the provisions, and how them for do them work, and plenty other things. But you do watch YV television, we still a tour parliament. Um, this is the first day of the induction program for elected members of parliament for the sixth parliament. We don't talk to several MPs from the different region them. And with the canon of the south, I'll be talking about the speaker race and uh, plenty of them don't come up. We are unable to send a puzzle on Thomas, unable to give out. We are able to, um, unable to see the Tunis. We also didn't even hear you say only Wabas Bundu self here for return. But all that's going to be decided tomorrow. We will get to see the opening of parliament, the official opening of parliament. We decided to do the oath taking for members of parliament and also do the election of the speaker. And AYV set for bringing you live coverage for that because we now you home of credible and factual news. And we don't come at the south side, the southern region day uh, from the from the eastern region. We don't come at the southern region. We say we see different MPs. Well, MPs they don't go for go take their snapshots as the staff they tell me, but we can see the setup when I can see. And this, unfortunately, they all don't go for go take photos. Well, we'll go continue for bringing you live coverage from um, Parliament live, and we don't show you now, we don't talk with you now, all the region them. And when I don't see the setup, how the first day turn like of the induction, I ain't like and every other thing. But one thing we for take out of this is uh, is that the APC not present at all, and we find out say only PCMPs and the SLPP MPs and now they no more come in for the induction. So we also see, and that's not the Speaker of Equals Parliament and. Uh, from the southern region and in one of the contenders then for the speakership so probably we'll attempt to try to talk to him live um Makusi and get an opinion get some exclusive interview Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, interview, live interview, sir. Um, and, and this, without the Speaker of Equals Parliament and also um, an MP from the Southern Region, specifically Pujan District. Uh, tell me first of all how you feel. Come on. Me, I'm very, very happy for say I don't come back as a member of Parliament. Uh, we get, forget a very dynamic. Parliament, this is legislature. We have our colleagues, we don't can join we from the APC, SLPP, and uh, I want to assure every one of them for say, me being the most senior member of parliament, having entered parliament in 2002, I assure all of them for say, this is the place to be. Once you don't enter here, do your level best for put party business now do small and take put the country first you know one party people the way you name the come up for, for the speakership race you still doing the race and <laughs> you still in the race which are you hope uh in the slpp now family business who can i get an ambition for be speaker yes but once the party don't talk say they will go this direction, another direction where they go. Last night, as a party, we don't, sit down, we don't decide to give the current speaker two more years. So, my ambition will only come after two years. All right. Thank you for giving me one to we. Um, one more question, sir. <laughs> one more question. We find out, say, uh, we see a news around that you be the engaged the, 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 the former president, Anis Koma, for engage for dialogue with the ABC for men and participate. Mm -hmm. As you know, so they, they say they may participate as well. Mm -hmm. How far are the results of Now, the wish of His Excellency President Julius Madabio for bringing the country together. 
elections done done, which we look at right now, now for make sure say we bring about development. A one for start the ball rolling. And it's not just one party business at this stage. A one for make sure say everybody is on board, the APC, the SLPP, everybody they on board. Now based on that we decide for begin for engage the S the APC. Yes, I have a meeting with President Koroma and President Koroma is also very much willing to see that we get peace and uh, we get uh, stability, we get unity in this country. So we are hoping that, like I say to the journalists we interviewed me the last time, that meeting was an exploratory meeting. And uh, we hope say we will get several more meetings then for make sure say we put the country first. We make sure say this country here is united under His Excellency President Julius Madabio. President get a lot of programs then for this country. In the, in the last five years of his rule, we don't see the remarkable success we get in uh, education, with a free education uh, uh, agenda. Now he say in one level feed the nation. Not to SFP no more go feed the nation. Not to APC no more go feed the nation. Now everybody, all political parties, every, the youths, the women, the paramount chiefs, the APC, the SLPP, everybody get a car on board. So he, as a president, once he don't put that agenda, now we own responsibility, we will we, we, we work with them for make sure, say, we'll move on with that particular agenda day. So for now, me, me focus, now for make sure, say, I help the president for bring everybody that come together. So if you see me, they engage people, now for it, it, in that line day, for help the president, for bring the country together, because if the country is not de together, development not good. Let we put politics aside. Politics is undone. Nobody knows you go move, remove President Bill again as president. He's president until 2028. People, they get to understand that. So as long as that understanding on the, I believe that we all will be able to come back together, work for the country, come a parliament, let we argue. If SIPP government, they come with issues, APC, when are the main opposition, then they're not comfortable about it, let them remember the well and argue out. We there for debate. We for student at the well and debate. So that debate denying we I think say we all, especially we the politicians them, we for focus on for help with people them. Thank you for talking to me. Thank you. Um, that's not the speaker of Equas Parliament. I'm also MP from the um, Southern region, um, specifically Pujang district. Um, don't talk to me. A brief way about the meeting where it gets with former president and Skoma. And we don't know, we don't get breaking news. Breaking news uh, that the the former, we'll say former speaker, they will still continue for serve as speaker for two years until um, we get another speaker. But it's just in, it's a breaking news. Honey Babas, Bundu, go continue for serve as speaker of the sixth parliament and before uh, for two years that's not the breaking news our uh, members say you don't know watch we we don't know talk with you now uh, different region there inside parliament we bring on the region there inside parliament we don't go now the the north northern region we say we get in northwest we get in north uh we also get the um we we're gonna the different uh, western region western area world western area urban we also gonna eastern region we also come now the southern region we don't talk and we don't talk to different mpd and one of the breaking news is that abbas bundu will continue for be speaker for the sixth parliament for two years i mean joseph johnson we don't come with live coverage from the uh, the house of parliament i would say the uh, we get the first day of the induction ceremony for elected MPs for the sixth parliament. Um, Tete, we meet again, continue for our AYV, and as we bring come live update by tomorrow, stay with me by 10 o'clock, we go there for bringing come live coverage as we see MPs and will be sworn in tomorrow. Plenty thank you for talk for stay with me. The sixth parliament um, of the Republic of Sierra Leone tomorrow. And uh, today, orientation don't take place in the parliament. So I will see uh, members of parliament elect, you know, then go to parliament for um, understand how parliament day and also do some re ret um, some rectification with regards to um, you know in order for for order for doing bank bank accounts, do and also register and fill some forms. 
and she'll say you day at par with parliament constitution and for you get better understanding of parliament. So that never happened today. And um, we don't see the opposition, all people's congress party in parliament. Um, but also we understand, say, um, the current speaker of parliament term to extend to two more years. And um, so we'll go for this course and there as well. And what will you expect for C tomorrow in a parliament, um, among other things? My name is David M. Wilson, and uh, this is uh, this day special Salon Decides. Will they continue after the June 24 multi elections? We still they review um, the process and um, how things will unfold inside the country after the June 24 elections. There are still negotiations going on, peace talk, dialogue um, between government and the opposition and uh, for charts to way forward into development. Still the opposition say they're not going to parliament, not only in parliament, but participate into governance, um, you know, council and um, parliament and other governance structure as well. At the studio, I got this to Melvin Tijanman, say senior parliament, correspondent, editor, um, and also senior sport, um, uh, well, sports also, <laughs> involving all categories. Melvin, welcome to the show um, of this day. Thank you very much for having me on the show. You're always welcome. And we also expect Honorable Bami Chidi, um, in a former member of parliament, a parliament. Um, uh, last start off with you, Melvin. Um, today we see the orientation um, for members of parliament today. Um, just about one hour ago, we see that, that process the end. But mm -hmm. I hope see um, members of parliament and still they go on the process and how they for understand parliament, proceedings, among other things. What are your assessments, you know, with the process without the main opposition of the People's Congress Party? It, it was quite lukewarm, and yes, the absence of the main opposition took something away from that because if that they, all the people are elect for good day and today the process don't start, and with key. Right. Well, I'm um, sorry for that technical glitch, but we're back again. This is this day on AYV Television Salon Decide Special, and um, may they come to your life na AYV Television Channel 33, na the LU 11.7 FM. Our Facebook page, YV News, you could drop your comments and we'll definitely find time for you. We continue the conversation for look at the build up part of the um, sixth parliament of the Republic of Sierra Leone. Um, you know, and earlier today, as I start um, the orientation, you know, for members of parliament, you know, comments today and tomorrow, and the resumption of parliament um, as well. So we'll start the build up right away. Melvin, we'll talk about um, what you observed today, the orientation and um, the formation and a lot of things happened today we want for this course but we just don't join by honorable bamichiri honorable bamichiri welcome to the show it's a pleasure being here you're always welcome honorable so maybe yeah, yeah. you actually be really analyze the day how, how we start from today from the rotation process how we see members of parliament and going to parliament and you know start and proceed this put documents together you know for 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 you know ensure say then they are by to to parliament proceedings yeah of course that's not the the first step and tomorrow not the big day but with the ambience to the first day on the positive note we see lots of women we see the paramount chief members of parliament many of the fresh men are young people so i think with just visibly what we see one for be optimistic that yes we might get a very vibrant knowledgeable and 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 and, and well, deserving parliament. But apparently what is missing there is, like I said earlier on, the absence of the APC. And, and it said, I mean, it, it said a chilling atmosphere, basically. We are in a just, the AP, SABP and Paramount Chief, they're they, they not been the day. So that take away for some of the, the glow of the day. But it's just the start, according to the clock, it will be a two month long exercise. So there is still time. Apparently, when waiting not get time now, waiting for me the outcome of tomorrow, mm -hmm. when MPs designate or elect will be subscribing the oath of office. That's again. But it's waiting we see so today with the absence of the opposition. I think if people are not going for negotiate or mediate, that don't, that don't, that for, for if for, if for trigger them, mm -hmm. for one for frankly and honestly mediate because if they boycotted the indu induction. The chances of them not coming tomorrow, I think, say it'll ever become greater. 
-hmm. and it's not in the interest of nobody. So, from the administrative standpoint, the, the Office of the Clerk of Parliament, the directorates, them all be daily, the directors, them be daily, and it's clear that the, the, the administration is prepared mm -hmm. for, for the occasion today, oh. tomorrow, and the coming days. But I think, say, waiting, I'm sure, is beyond the administration and control is the summoning of the parliament itself. Yeah. My new section 86 makes the press, I mean, section 83 not, 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 only, not only provide that it's, pre, is it 83? Mm -hmm. I stand to be corrected. Mm -hmm. But the, the, the president is a member of parliament mm -hmm. and in that provision in 86, he can summon parliament at any time and he has done that. Apparently, in as much as it's the legal rights of the president to do so, but that is in the case of where all things be equal. Mm. In this situation, all things not be equal. So yes, the standing order and constitution say 28 days after election, there should be a recalling of parliament. But we're not even 28 days yet. So somebody mm -hmm. will say, we are not pressed for time either. And I'm using this because of there is this stalemate or there is this disagreement and the boycott, we already don't start. And for we, for the president, for the reconvene or recall parliament, and leaving that issue unaddressed. It also speaks to the fact that how sincere is he with the purported extension of, or extending of olive branches. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's my opinion that at least a window for them be given another weekend, like this weekend, mm -hmm. till Tuesday or Monday. By Tuesday now, I mean, I, I think the, the opposition, they need for be done get a small window. In as much as, yes, it's the rights, it's the constitutional power of the president, but with the current unfortunate situation, if we don't create a window for let negotiations still go ahead and mediation. Mm. But with this now, it seems as if somebody they say we'll make peace, but at the same time it's running on a fast speed. Mm. So I think it's it, it not good because all the efforts not will yield the fruits we want for C. Nobody wants to see this. It's not good for APC, it's not good for the SLPP, it's not good for the Salon Parliament, it's not good for Sierra Leoneans because now we vote and that is a decision. That is a decision of, of the people. So I think we are we are at the crossroads. Yeah, but, but and I, I from think today to, yes, go ahead. Mm. We are at the crossroads mm. that time don't close on we. Mm. If there is no mediation and there is no common ground or a middle point, we might see, unfortunately, the boycotting of the APC tomorrow. We will start a fresh episode in the legislative conversation. Mm. Too many things hanging on the on the loop, and if you know if you allow anything in the forecast, you might not know who's going for end. Mm -hmm. Things like the legal ramification, things like the financial ramification, things like the political ramification, even the diplomatic ramification, even the social cohesion. So a lot is at stake. So even when we want for CES, the parliament up and running, I think we should have used this time to, to, to mend fences mm -hmm. first before coming to, to reconvene the house. Because if you reconvene the house tomorrow, which is already planned for, and has been slated, then you still, and the issue of boycott not address, we might go back to that issue unresolved. Right. So yes. we, we need for, we need for the, the government and the opposition, and need for C, at least as latest as at least 12 o'clock midnight. Yeah. Or at least as latest before 7.30 tomorrow morning. Good morning. Because if you pass 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, the conversation mm -hmm. will be different. Uh, you, you know, very crucial, like you mentioned, I understand the dialogue is still gone within the two, um, the opposition, the ruling government, for, for put heads together and chat the way forward, and also with development. You talk about dialogue, you know, for don't take place within this period. And this morning, we asked Honorable Barnett Lai, we, you know, also now be a former member of parliament, and, and you know, and 2012 also begets a situation like this. But according to Rami, say the decision not be come up from in party. We ask them not for participating to parliament. But then things say um, the result not be there in favor of them. So they decide for, for stay back. But they say dialogue will take place and, and at the end then go back to parliament. But we don't know how they be set to that dialogue there because they not tell you how that dialogue will take place. We make the all come together and say, okay, well now let we think about Sierra Leone. Now we go to parliament and now we discuss the issue. And I will that that's very crucial this time, dialogue and get the two main political parties because I then get members of parliament with represent Sierra Leone and discuss issues of development. Now one, um, then a parliament with 81 um, members them, when are the ruling Sierra Leone People's Party with um, 14 parliament chief, and we still get um, 54 members. We suppose to join um, the 81 members and also 14 parliament chief, but we'll get a proper parliament. We still seem for see 
things not seem for the go right, you know. Um, today we expect them for Buna Parliament, um, but we will not see the opposition. But I understand see they are closed door, um, no registration done. And um, uh, what is the fate for tomorrow, Parliament, the resumption of the Parliament itself? We not a rich man, in the sense that mm. we look at situation as it is. Dialogue is uh, like it's a diplomatic move that is quite diplomacy, that mm. is bringing people together. You use the carrot and stick approach. But if you use the stick and then later on the carrot, you question the sincerity of purpose. Like he did said that the, the government is willing to work with the opposition. You've given an early branch. How far has it extended, has it resonated to the people on the other side? I don't have the answer, I don't know. But at the same time, you make sure you bring people together in the interest of Mama Sierra Leone, not the two parties. Because that what Banana Light said was, we had this statement. This is a continual crisis mm -hmm. we're going to go through. Mm -hmm. And we are taking this so lightly that number is not the answer. You need to have the opposition, which is the requisite composition of good governance, to be on board. And then you start working. But because you are saying I have the numbers and the paramount chief and the opposition, like in England, they have the, the Her Majesty's opposition in, in government. That is the, the, lab, the conservative mm -hmm. as well as the liberal, which is the Her Majesty's opposition in government. That is, is the same one we're doing here as of now. But then we are moved from Westminster type, which we are accustomed to, mm -hmm. and we have moved to the Atlantic, crossing the Atlantic from Ireland to, the, um, to um, America, mm -hmm. and we are stuck in the, the, which means everybody in terms of leadership, in terms of authority, should use the carrot and stick approach in terms of majority in parliament. And that is what falter everybody now. They are talking about a two-thirds majority of elected members to choose a speaker. And if you look at it, not members present, two thirds of elected member. That's the first day mm. you have done induction. And it's within 28 days of the constitution to reconstitute parliament, reconvene parliament. What's the rush? And you are talking for people because Sierra Leone is bigger than all these two political parties. But, but, but if, 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 if the total you talk about, according to Sheku, uh, more than the communication, communication director of where of of parliament, he states I'm very clear. And and and, and this morning say, um, even even you not get the, the two thirds of majority, but if the vote three ten, you know, forget the two thirds. If that not work, then they can get the the simple majority. You but know, then for, you're missing the point. The you are missing the point. Two thirds of elected members of parliament. Was it not that same program that Parantara, the clerk of parliament, did say? Mm. To have been summoned, you can go to the hospital for people to go and vote. That's what they're missing. Mm. And sometimes we don't correct the wrongs by continuing to perpetrate. You see, sometimes you can fracture the law, but the law is the law. And you are, somebody was acting 93 points. Three today. Mm. Is there any precedent? The basic precedent I'm telling you right now mm. was the election of Justice Cowan to the speakership position. In politics, you have a one line, two line, and three line whips. You summon all your parliamentarians to parliament to go and vote. If you don't have the two thirds, you have one, two. And at the end of the day, with backroom negotiation, you come up with a winner. That is simple majority. The skill about negotiation, it, it, it appears that for, for B, um, something we don't seem for equal. Whether, um, because now we don't understand ourselves. No, that is not. Whether, whether the opposition When you are talking about simple majority, mm. this is the first day of parliament. Every elected member is entitled to vote to teach their leadership. That's why you are missing the point. You see, sometimes, you see, sometimes experience comes into, into play. Mm. And then we start talking, oh, you said for most part. From common, common sense is knowledge. Hmm. And this is common sense that mistake. You, I told you about the carrot You mean, you mean from the leadership of the two main political parties? Definitely. In resolving problem like this? The, ah, that answer me back like you're proper. Hmm. The question you asked me was, it is simple, it is 
two-thirds of members present. Mm -hmm. No. You are choosing members from among yourselves or an outside candidate which is supposed to be a judge to preside over you. That means when you pass your when you pass instead of being having that certificate to be a member of parliament, it's that number you are counting to choose your thing. And if one set don't go there, definitely it will not be the same thing. Common sense will tell you. But, but the, the area of speaker, Melvin, you within a parliament. And Forget about the Abbas Bundu scenario. If you use the Abbas Bundu scenario, if you use the Abbas Bundu scenario, you are asking for wrong things that has been done no, but, to but, correct but, it. But this this happened. It's a breaking news that um, what that news? they extend the the speaker. Um, um, you know, position for, for the next two years. We mean there are possibilities for us no no for going to election Melvin. We didn't have parliament because now no, well, well, from, ah, well, well, the question you are asking from, from that point back no, no, to parliament. Can I can I just can I, can I? the mm. question you're asking me now, mm. I don't know about extension. It's five years at a time. So which means mm. the extension does it come into play in this parliament? Mm. You can't be the referee and the judge in this place. In the sense that the parliament life is five years, mm. fluxion of time. And when that five years expire, that incumbent speaker, if he still wants that position, is liable to be challenged by other members of parliament because that amendment they made in parliament was ordinary members of parliament can ascend to that throne of being a speaker. Melvin, uh, you want for chipping? Yeah, yeah, I want for chipping. The mm. aspect of we might not see an election. Mm. We might not see an election in the absence of APC. Mm. Now, how this thing works, the political party leadership, then they select or nominate the candidates there for the speaker's position. Mm. So, we are in the clerk go announce first, then nominations are declared open, and in that case, SWP then will nominate and from which we don't get that there is an already an in-house decision that the current speaker will therefore prolong for another two years. But like Honorable Bamichiri is saying, there is a critical aspect there. And mind you, there is this welfare bill. Mm -hmm. And for certain entitlements, you must have served uninterrupted five years. Mm -hmm. So the same thing that might haunt the APC if they fail to subscribe the oath tomorrow might affect the current speaker because if he fails to complete his five years, mm -hmm based on internal party decision, then what happens to his benefits? Will he be paid for five years as benefits? Mm. So that, as it may, is an internal party decision. Mm. But what is interesting here is that, of course, if seven people in order for go outside of the party, they will remain for the sense they forget meeting by 3 o'clock till mm. the other party office. Mm. So once they don't nominate, we're expecting that one person to for nominate yeah. because of which we don't get that already. So once they nominate Dr. Abbas Bundu, the same clerk will turn the question over to the other side. If there are any counter nominations, mm -hmm. that's where the essence of the election can kind of Because let's say SLPP don't nominate Dr. Abbas Bundu mm -hmm. now, and mm -hmm. there will not be any other person. Mm -hmm. Anybody venture that, that means you define with you, party don't talk. Mm -hmm. Then APC, then not the. So automatically, if they're not the, there is no, no counter motion to, mm -hmm. the, to the nomination, then there will not be any need for an election. election. But if then they, now they, the election will come. And if that election they come, it's demanding for two thirds. Honorable Bamichiri is making a point. I think that we need some legal advice here yeah. as to where will the two thirds be called from. I think we'll get the conversation this morning. Yeah. Your argument is that the two thirds is going to be called from members of parliament elect. But according to practice, over time, those num that number can be called from members of parliament present. Thank you. That's members a, no, no, can't of go. parliament see, see, present. So there's sense. a legal ambiguity this, there. The point, you know, this mm. is common sense mm. in this law, what we're talking about. Mm. Members of parliament present. present. You remember when the, um, Farhan was on the radio and uh, television yesterday, he was trying to tell you that even if you are still coming, they, they can go to the hospital for you to vote. But, but you, 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 you don't follow law play with him, Paran, we say exactly. Yes, okay, yes. so let me join the parliamentary correspondence when uh, um, um, Joseph Johnson, and he puts this report together exclusively for assess and also build up towards uh, the assumption of parliament, the sixth parliament tomorrow. Less than two days to the opening of the sixth parliament, the All People's Congress <coughs> Party is still firm is it? on its words. The party will not participate in the governance of President Bill. Even though one of its members, Honorable Mohamed Bangura, did not sign the petition, and other senior members of the party, like Ibrahim Ben Kabo, who is a former MP, is calling for a dialogue, yet the clerk of parliament 
Honorable Palan Omar Tarawali is optimistic that APC MPs will show up in Parliament on Thursday, 13th July. Um, as far as I'm concerned, I know the APC is coming to Parliament. They will come because this is their house and they have been voted for to come serve their people. And I know they are patriotic Sierra Leoneans and therefore they will come live to the mandates as bestowed upon them by your people during the 24th June elections. He says he will not consider the sixth parliament as one party parliament if the APC does not show up on Thursday, relying on the paramount chief members of parliament as opposition. But having said this, assuming for a while they stay away, I will still not consider it as a one party um, parliament because even though the members of the paramount chief members of parliament are not stricto sensu politicians and they do not belong to political parties, but they are in parliament basically to shape the political topography of Sierra Leone. So they can equally put up resistance and they can equally serve as opposition members where things are not going right. They are not rubber stamp PCMPs. But what are the implications of APC not showing up on Thursday in Parliament for oath taking? You know, as I know, that for you to be entitled to all the benefits of an MP, especially when it comes to a terminal MP, you should have served for five unbroken years. Okay? And five years is five years. One day minus five years is four years, 364 days. It's still incomplete. Yeah, so it is incomplete. Mm -hmm. So the legal implication is twofold. Mm -hmm. One, legally speaking, you will not be qualified for a lot of things that a five-year term, a five-year term mm -hmm. MP will be qualified for. Mm -hmm. So a person who comes after Thursday will not be qualified as a first-timer. Mm -hmm. He will only be qualified as a contract MP. Mm -hmm. Then you come to the financial benefits. You know... Every MP who serves five-year term is entitled to life pension. Okay? So if you do not serve the full five-year, you are not entitled to that pension. So those are basically the implications. So I want to appeal to each one of them to come to Parliament 10 o'clock Thursday 13th July and subscribe the oath. When asked if this will not affect the running of the sixth Parliament, Especially with concerns of achieving two-third majority in Parliament, Honorable Paran says, First and foremost, it is only persons who subscribe to the oath, who subscribe the oath of office, that will be considered MPs. So, for example, if there are 400 and, uh, 149 mm -hmm. persons elected to Parliament, and then 95 subscribe the oath, that is the total number of MPs. Mm -hmm. That is the total number. Mm -hmm. So, taking the two-third of all MPs, it is two-third of 95 rather than two-third of 149. Even though the clerk has asserted that the absence of the APC in the sixth parliament will not impact the parliament, yet Melvin Tijan Mansare, who is a parliamentary journalist and pundit, feels otherwise. So if you don't have the opposition, for example, in the appointment committee, how do you expect those people to be, to be how do you expect them to, to be, to, to be green or scrupulously scrutinized? That's one. We're expecting budgets. If you don't have the opposition, how are they going to be do, doing due diligence on those budgets and votes heads? So that can be another defect also for accountability and transparency. But above all, it does not send a mess, good message about the, the health of governance here. On one hand, the APC is trying to hold its ground, and on the other hand, the impact it will have not only on the country's democracy, but also on the party itself. Joseph Johnson, AYB News, for example. Well, many thanks to Joseph Johnson for putting that report together. It's, it's very controversial with regards to issues surrounding parliament, more especially the sixth parliament. Um, Honorable, from, from within um, um, the clerk of parliament, Honorable Paran C, and, um, and, and from the report itself, it speaks about how it's, it's about countries' interests and, and how things say, you know, democracy for strive um, with the current setting of parliament and parliament gets a pivotal role for play um, into a country's democracy. Thank you very much. At least you played what I heard from the office law. Mm. It says that within one month of that COVID, it's 28 days, what's the hurry? 
Mm. Nobody have asked me that question. Mm. Within 28 days, you've called parliament. And there's an olive branch extended, whether it has reached the other side or not. <laughs> we are talking about Sierra Leone mm. in this context. We should hasten slowly to bring people together than trying to be using the sticks more than the carrots. Because when you start telling people that within, within the month of July, you, you, you ascribe to that oath of office, you still going to have your benefits. We're not going to buy this. Within that month, in decimal point, point, point 0.4, you can round it up to point 0.5. Within the month of July, and you subscribe to that oath, unless you don't want the country to move forward mm -hmm. by playing administrative tactics mm -hmm. to get it done. But now we have moved away from that. We are talking about Sierra Leone. How do you come to bring people together, all sorts of opinion? But, but according to you, we will still get time. But Honorable Paran, um, um, you know, say um, after tomorrow, if members of parliament now um, subscribe to it, meaning that you still know before they within the five years. No, but the point is that is what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. You have 28 days, and mm -hmm. we have moved this. We have moved the goalposts forward. Mm -hmm. Who say within July month you're not qualified to have your benefit? Your benefit. That, that's what Honorable ah, Paran say. We're not continue by days. It's months. But it's a clerk of parliament. I've been in there, so I know what I'm talking about. So mm. forget about that. We're not questioning the clerk's prerogative. Mm. We are talking about common sense here. OK. In the sense that within that month, you subscribe to the you are entitled to your benefit. It's four months, nine months. Which you want to go down to the last decimal point, point nine. Mm. It's not how the system works. But the point is we have to encourage people to come on board to see that in the national interest of bringing people together, that's what we're doing now. But to power our business, we're talking about now. Okay. This we're talking about the nation. Mm. We're in a settlement. How do we come together? Because whether SRPP have the majority or not, you need opposition to make sure what you are saying. We all come to shades of opinion and come together. When they agree as one, they don't ever say it's one party. It's a unanimous decision with certain dissenting views. That's the way governance work in this country. You get a vast experience in, in parliament. Well, not generally, but in, in salon issue. With the current situation, you think, say, there are compromise, go be strike, and then we Obviously, see the opposition go back to compromise with time. Mm. It's a give and take situation. Mm. Nobody has the right answer. We are looking at Sierra Leone as the broader picture. It's our approach in negotiation. Mm. That is why we falter. That is why sometimes when we go to negotiate with the Chinese, the Chinese get bullied because we don't go to the right points. Now you're trying to say, Oh, now money made and the good parliament. That is our integrity you are questioning. Mm. Is it money you are going there for? Okay, I can go there for the next one. Don't give me my benefit. Give me my gratuity. They'll give you your gratuity. You might not be entitled to the pension. Mm. But it, you are stand the course of time. That during my time of office, I was not looking for the gratuity, the pension. I was looking at Mama Serelio. But you think generally the PR system, um, you know, uh, affects, um, affects sorry, the, the, the format with regards to get members of parliament because to me understanding the PR system members of parliament go to parliament to them political party we so they can uh, get you back into a political party okay? yes and, and but then well, well, but then this is so hang on and so I don't begin to say the camera let's just get it clear first of all mm. so if you don't ask me I won't answer okay in the sense right, that mm. you are going on the party ticket yeah and the party said don't go to parliament that is why when when I mentioned that election of speaker has to be elected members. That was that angle I was coming from. Mm. That is, if we are coming back, the party will write to you. I have my own suggestion of a speaker. SAP has a solution of it because it's, too, it's a two-pong approach, mm. APC and SAP. Mm. And that's what happened to Pakawa, Justice Kawa. Mm. He came out from the, and he was challenging an incumbent member of parliament who wanted to be a speaker. Who was the deputy speaker? Mm -hmm. Mr. Bangua. Mr. Bangua. Yes. Mm -hmm. When they voted, one, two, it was all, you don't have the two tokens. Everybody was there mm. to vote. So I don't see what the president took. I don't, I'm not one who use the Abbas Bulu scenario mm. of driving and walking out and they choose a the speaker. Mm. Two thirds is two thirds of members present. I, I think only would you do. I know, I, I'm just playing my case. You see, this will bring out another. I don't want to open another Pandora box. Okay, because I actually want so to say uh, with, with the, the APC not participating into parliament and 
and the last election, we'll see them the, the get speaker, but we we'll also get few opposition members then from NGC, C4C, because there are so and many independents. Yes. Yeah. That's it. Mm. That so, is what I'm, this is now, it's a two-pronged approach. Mm. So we'll make sure that the APC participate. How do you bring them in? You have to bring talk common sense into them, because this is not APC or SAP. This is a national issue. That is time to bring good governance into our, into the, into our own conversation to make sure Sierra Leone progress. There are talks still on. And well, let the talk go on. I'm, I'm, not in, I'm not in the position <laughs> to know what they're talking about, but I'm in the position now to tell you, mm -hmm. if you don't do this proper thing, we keep fracturing the law. That is why sometimes we, we rely on bad precedents, which is not good for democracy. So, so Melvin, let us assume, um, um, obviously, like you mentioned, their preparation for tomorrow's um, events in the parliament and it fix that has been announced and um, letter to effect long word for call on members of parliament then for assemble tomorrow in the parliament and for take oath as well. But in a situation, you know, there's no compromise within this time. You mentioned probably compromise key can reach at an agreement mm -hmm. by tomorrow, 7 o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. MPs, they understand, say, they are MPs, we, they are the provinces, you know. They also did the town, because mm -hmm. I understand they are meeting from the APC point of view. So all the MPs and they um, talk currently. Mm -hmm. But if they reach into agreement um, by tomorrow, we obviously will sit in a parliament, in, in proper agreement. But if, we're not, if they're not reached to our agreement, we're not going to sit in a parliament. But how, how did parliament get for look like? You know, the, the, the atmosphere, you know, in a parliament. Obviously, we're going to expect diplomatic people um, um, get for dinner parliament. Other Sierra Unions and get for dinner parliament. We get for be officially invited for going to parliament for witness the event. But, but how, how you don't sense the atmosphere? You're within a parliament, and there are one, two talks we, we actually don't go around, you know, MP, how they get for assess and all of that. Um, firstly, we wait for C. I'm, I'm very optimistic and very, very hopeful that common sense or sense will prevail. And it's good that there are, there are still meetings. My only fear is the frankness and sincerity behind these conversations. If you are not sincere and you are dialoguing, you're not going to reach no side. So the atmosphere tomorrow, if they're not there, of course, we will see vast amounts of empty seats for us in the chamber. <laughs> when are the first indication that they tell you say you know normal? Then it for be a worry concern for the country. Why not? Everybody for be worried. I keep on saying mm -hmm. this. Now, as APC, let me just unbundle this thing quick. Mm -hmm. APC not stand much for gain, but same for SRPP. What do you mean? Mm -hmm. Now, assuming APC stand then ground, on what basis they are standing on that ground? Because at the end of the day, if you say somebody not, to go, not for going to parliament, on what legal basis will you, be, will you be arguing that? What if somebody inside the APC come for challenge? And besides, that decision where the APC takes to, so that decision was not a consensus decision. How much panel supporters didn't go consult? You know, it's very unfortunate and ironical. People are waiting on votes for, they go decide how the, the fate of people are where they vote for. For me, that's the irony. But it's their political party. They have the what is called the whip system. Mm. So on their own side, if they're not there, well, it means it means say uh, they're not the force. Mm. But for the SLP, what do you mean? It will mean say the, the country don't reverse back into a one party state. Because you cannot tell me that paramount chief members of parliament can serve as a formidable opposition. Where they yeah, always they speak. Not. Where always at the mind of the government and they speak. Mm. So it will mean say the SLPP. It will mean generally that we have a rubber stamp parliament. For me, that could be me. me that not my worst fear. That could be, that's not the sorriest part for people like we. We don't, we don't go at home and abroad. We know how salon parliaments, they high up there in terms of rating and indexes, whether they, they publish. So for let you get a parliament where it takes time for a move from a rubber stamp parliament to what now they call a progressive parliament. Mm -hmm. For let overnight, all of a sudden, we get this rapid decline or reversal it means say, uh, it's not good for the reputation of the country, for the government, for even with delegations that we get for due to the international organizations, then they are not good. Mm -hmm. but, but, but generally, waiting at the biggest loss there, it means say, uh, the wishes and aspirations of the people has been altered. It just like no more way the last parliament they removed 10 MPs. This is just the same kind of magnitude that's waiting the people and decide 
is something otherwise. I don't think it's in the best interest of the country also, because it's not a country where the democracy people are on the rates mm -hmm. all over the world, and for who can begin, I mean, I'm part of publicity for the country, that we have a, 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 a governance system where in a one party, they, 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 they control. So it's not good, and I think nobody gets anything for win, and if you need to touch, you are, I mean, because if you look at this thing again, on I want to to your points on these two thirds. Mm. We need to clarify whether it's the two thirds of MPs elected or MPs present. And as it stands, mm. except you want to use procedure or best practice, but that is for the courts to decide. Because the, the, the way you watch the provision, if you look at 87, you see, you talk, you, you talk about MPs. Mm. But is it MPs elect or MPs present? Under normal so now, circumstances. So, 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 so now, we come to the question, who is a member of parliament? No. So, under so, normal circumstances, mm. mm. prevailing circumstances, mm. when you're elected to parliament, it's a pride and joy to go and have your first swearing-in ceremony. And because that is very significant. That's very significant. But what I will hang, say, on, hang on, hang on. Listen, um, we are looking at the situation now. Mm. I'm telling you what it's supposed to be. Yeah, but but hang on. this this hang on. <laughs> All right, no, no, because it's that's where we have to go. Oh, whether, no, and it's saying whether to members say present. Pre yeah, members no, no, of parliament the, present. No, no, because the normal because we're not talking about normalcy here. Mm. This is an absurd situation mm. that has caused us sort of a constitutional impasse mm. that is unprecedented. So how do we handle that situation? Because if everything be normal, everybody will have gone there, 145, and then they will vote for the speaker. So your so concern is about the, the current status quo? The current status we, don't, we have never, you see, we like to sweep things under the carpet. My own concern is, if you have won an election, it's a pride and joy to go to the parliament and be sworn in. Then you choose your speaker. Mm. You also? Yeah. So now, because of this impact that some are staying back or not. It's not in the interest of Sierra Leone, Mama Sierra Leone. It's the interest of individual political parties. <laughs> that is why that 77K that was seen, I said, yes, the, the leaders have the right to explore, exp uh, uh, expel. Mm. But if you look at the terms of expediency, the parliament will say, no. That is why the speaker is an arbiter. He will tell you, but you have to go to committee of privilege for you to be expelled from mm. parliament. And if the parliamentary vote against it, you will never be expelled. But you can't be it can't be a one side parliament. That well, is what my own concern. Now, now let's so, the, 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 okay, Melvin, I know but, but this is very, but this very this is it, it's the something very this um, is you know, critic that I, you know something I want to ask, you know, in a situation we are in it was first past the post. Mm -hmm. Um we are in They are both uh, with a picture. Yes. Because this is the party you are yeah, talking so, about. So, yes, yeah, so in a situation where we get forced past the post mm -hmm. um, with the PR system, the PR system now, members of parliament determine um, solely by the their party political determines. party. But the first past the post, it's, it's, it's you being voted for and you go to parliament. So we think so for the expect then kind of situation that we are in. Um, the party for be saying nobody not going to parliament, then obviously we see members of parliament where they voted for you. As member of parliament, you pictured in at the, at the ballot, ballot paper. If we see this kind of same their foot we are in, or if we be mixed members of parliament from the opposition, will be still go. We are in, we see some not for be go. How the situation is? You know, long of fool yourself here. Yeah. Yeah. I know you people on the talk this talk. Mm. <laughs> now, nah, 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 the party is uh, symbol they vote for. The party is symbol ordinarily in a, in a, a, a useless. That's oh. why the parties filed in nomination lists. So, in as much as you see that the symbol and votes for now, the symbol on INSECEP administratively is useless. You know, get no use if you're not filing nomination names that are gazetted. Mm -hmm. So, in as much as somebody go argue, say, and the symbol and votes for, na lie. Because the symbol get names behind it. So, for me, I don't see much difference with the, just that the PR is having a threshold. Mm -hmm. But it was almost the same under the constituency system. You have the face, you have the symbol. Now they talk a lot of symbol, other formality, normal for letting political party they also get ex enormous or excessive powers. But the argument that, oh, now me symbol. You symbol on ECSF, ECSL, not for big gazette, nothing when I just symbol. And because names, nomination lists were submitted. So there are two sides of this argument. One, you will say that you symbol, yes, mm -hmm. but you symbol alone, not for we don't go through the electoral process because you will put symbol, you know, put people in MD. It make any difference. So, symbol on the top of the parliament. Symbol is good parliament, sir. <laughs> so, 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 so that means, 
That's that just something. <laughs> that's what they should have been doing from the civic education mm -hmm. to educate our people of about the PR system. Of course. We failed to educate our people. And these are some of the drawbacks we are facing. But, 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 but all them for educate people about PR system, we obviously there's no picture. These are the, there's, some there's of the no drawbacks. Even if so, you are, when you prioritize your list, mm -hmm. people don't even know. But, but so, so that's the problem. So, so, which so, so where are the political party then? Education so the political party then tell people they say, now Melville will put for, 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 for Timap as number one person for APC or SLPP. No political party not come out and tell the people. Well, no, but they did. No, they published it in the Gazette. Yeah, but how many, how many people, people no. know? When well, are the people that are going to pay attention? Yeah. So we so should have to argue the political party. So and I mean, you just go use that Gazette day. Say, not so you see more, you be Gazette. Listen, the one way popular can be number 10. Stupidly sit down there mm. that they are voting for him is number 10. Mm. And then they have two lists, A and B. Mm. The second, like, so I called somebody's attention. Mm. I said, You are in the B list. After this seven on command, it should be eight and nine, nine. before you turn to the one, two, three, and you are number five or number four. Mm. You will never have the day. So, that so, so, the so, the so which yeah. means we should have educated our people, sensitized them well enough. But what uh, is it something, the whole election? In the rush, we didn't do diligence to our, uh, our voters. In terms of education. In terms of education. So, from, from the political party aspect, for educate them, the that people is the stupidity we are going to now mm -hmm. to make sure you have to sensitize our people for them to see reason why they should think of Sierra Leone now abo above party interests. Uh, let me raise yeah. the point. You ask one question, but the question not come on. Mm. Now, that what if they not go? At all, at all. Yes. How can they be replaced? Yes. Well, that yes, is the, yes. That yeah, is the legal uh, blind spot and of course, in because, all of this. Yes, because because that, ECSL that, 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 don't get that power mm. for what you say. I go take list B. Or I go take the other party mm -hmm. list. The law is silent on so, that. So, 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 the law is one party Parliament says One party. Parliament says The only time. They could have that power. Now, if somebody don't subscribe the oath, but it can be effective mm. on the 30 cities. Yes. Yes. But even parliament now says that the law is still blind on whether they can make a so, replacement. So, 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 so that, 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 not get the power, that, parliament not get the power. That, 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 Who has the power? The, the Supreme Court. It's the only the I the High Court or the, the Supreme Court. Yeah. Because the Constitution is not clearly envisaging the situation. So, so, and so, then the so, committee of no, no, the committee of privilege, which have to be assigned mm. that function. To look at his human rights and if the if the party leader, but the committee they, not set up it. No, but after the formation of parliament, it will be set up. And, uh, and the only the only the, the only power they have is the committee of people <laughs> that can expose so, mm. subject to the approval of the speaker. Mm. But 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 that's also very crucial. Like for for instance, we see um, Honorable Mohamed Bangura. Sorry if if probably I did take example for ma'am. You know, and he, he actually at the initial stage not be signed. You know, hoping that they are, you know he still gets. The power for the parliament because even if they, they don't vote for a party and maybe not name the number one at the list at that side and a win according to a party formation or the seat where they allocate to a party and if things they get the, the, the mandate for good parliament but failing to know that now in political party get for a bit in that situation in the, to win in, you know, area like a, let's talk and bastard if not, then full day they like, get the seats. Mm. You know, go number five, go go take your own number one place. Simple. From the police. From, from, from the but in this case, the same political so, party. Let you put number 15 at the same list. The party list. The party uh, will not give you. Like the the party. Not to SMPP. The party said they are one list deactivated. Uh -huh. So what do you do to replace them? So That is a constitutional blind spot. So, and so the APC, no, no, no one for dream for take this matter to the Supreme Court. Mm. Because Usai go end, they might not envisage mm. Usai in the end. So for me, there is this section I want for read. We don't need to talk about some. Mm. And I'm sure people have to think about this one. We're going to talk about this two-third thing. He say, um, I think it's 87. First day of Parliament. Mm. Look at it properly. He say, if the resolution is passed by Parliament with the support of the votes of not less than two-thirds of members thereof. Mm. So there is ambiguity here. Yeah. The vote of not more than two, the, the vote of two-thirds members, not only two-thirds members. Mm. So the question technically go beg or legally, who is a member of parliament? Thank you. When you have subscribed to, hang on, I'm telling you now. But there is also an alternative there because no, you can, also, you might no, also no, not subscribe the oath, mm. but you are still eligible to go and vote for the speaker. So you mm. see, yes, that is why. Let's if you look at the best practice. Mm. You have, go, you go back to. Parliament.